Today we're going to be looking at Home Assistant on TrueNest Scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use the regular applications, but first what I want to do is create some data sets for it. So in my configs, come over here, we're going to add three data sets. The first one is going to be called, well, four actually, Home Assistant. It's going to be Apps Preset. Save that. Now under that, I'm going to create three that it needs. So Home Assistant is here. We're going to add a data set to Home Assistant. First is going to be config. And this is going to be apps. Ooh. Apps. Okay. And the third is going to be the database. Okay, we are ready to deploy. Let's come over to Discover Apps. Home Assistant. Let's do an install. Okay, my database password, I'm going to set something insecure. You guys are going to change that and to something secure. I want to keep everything the same here. Let's do host path for all this. It's going to be... This is the config. Second one is going to be media host path. Media. And the last one, this is the most important one, of course, because it's going to be the database. And anytime you see this Postgres up here, it means you're going to need to do something special. So um, configs, home assistant, database. And I want to come down here and check the automatic permissions checkbox. All right, we're not going to do anything else here. I'm going to leave it and hit the install. We are up and running. Let's jump on our web UI. And here we are, we're in. So we can create our smart home. Now, again, we're going to want to use very strong things, but I'm not because this is just a demo. Okay. And we're in. 